Never Stop Learning, week 203. We're gonna take a quick look at the Stretch Between Guides feature, which is part of your art brushes in Adobe Illustrator CC 2014. All right, so a couple weeks back, I bumped into this feature when I was working with text as an art brush. So I figured I'd take a closer look at it this week. Now, what I'm gonna do first is create an art brush and then we'll start working with the feature. So I'm gonna hit the backslash key on my keyboard to activate the line segment tool. I'm gonna to click and drag while holding down shift and that's just gonna create a straight segment. Now over here at the top where it says stroke, I'm gonna change the value to 65 points just to thicken up that stroke a little bit. All right, now I'm gonna zoom in on this guy. That way I could actually see what I'm doing. Shift W is gonna give me the width tool and I just wanna bring in these edges a little bit. All right, so to make a copy of this width guide, I'm gonna hold down option, click and drag. Now once I get the curve I want down here at the bottom, I'll go ahead and release. And I gotta reposition this guy at the top now, so I'll bring this guy upwards a little bit. There you go, so go ahead and fix this guy up however you need to. Now, basically I'm creating a brush in order to create a new font. And in this new font that I'm creating, I'd like to retain these curves that I have at the top and these curves that I have over here at the bottom. Now the middle portion could stretch out however it wants, I don't care about that, but I do wanna retain these awesome curves that I have set up here. So I'm gonna zoom out, hit the V key to activate the selection tool. Now I'm gonna turn this guy into an art brush. All right, I have my brushes panel set up over here on the right. If you don't have your brushes panel up, just go over to the window menu, scroll down and click on brushes. I'm gonna hit escape because mine's already up. Now to create the brush, I'm just gonna click and drag. When I get this little plus symbol, I could release. And now I have this window here that says new brush. In this window, we have to choose which brush type we wanna use. So the stretch between guides feature is found inside the art brush. So you wanna click on art brush, then click okay to accept that change. Now I'm gonna name this guy text because we're gonna use this to create some new text or a new font, whatever. Now the section I wanna take a look at is right here where it says brush scale options. By default, it's already set to stretch to fit stroke length but I wanna to switch to stretch between guides. So I'll click on that. Now the preview changes up a little bit and right over here where it says start and end, we could actually enter in specific values over here, but I like to work with the preview. So see this dotted line here? I'm gonna click and drag on it just to reposition it. And when I release, now I have a new starting point. All right, so this is my end point over here or the end guide. I'm gonna click and drag to bring this guy up and then release. So it's showing me the end value over here as well. Now, what I'm taking a look at is the brush. I'm looking for a section that kind of gets leveled out and it looks pretty level right in here. I could even make adjustments right here if I need to. Basically what I'm telling Adobe is this section right here in the middle, I want this part to stretch out. Everything that's outside of the guides, I want you to retain it just as is. So that's gonna keep these nice curves for us. All right, so I'm gonna click okay to accept that and I could throw away this piece now. Back in the brushes panel, I wanna make sure that that brush is activated, so I'm gonna click on it once, and I'm gonna use the line segment tool again just to keep things nice and simple. I'm gonna click and drag, release, there you go. I'm gonna click and drag over here, and then release. Now with my pen tool, because I am in the creative cloud, I'm able to bend these segments really easily, just like this. I'm holding down the option key on the Mac, and for you PC users, um, you can hold down the alt key. All right, so another straight segment just along here to help illustrate my situation that I have going on here. All right, great, so I'm gonna select all these strokes that we have set up. Now back over here in the brushes panel, I wanna double click on the brush we just created. That's gonna bring up my art brush options for that particular brush. What I wanna do is make sure that my preview box is checked and this is gonna allow us to see the difference between the default and the stretch between guides feature. All right, so take a look at my strokes here. You see these curves that we set up earlier? Well, if I go back to the default, clicking on it, it's actually gonna ignore that and stretch out those curves. So if those curves are really important to you, you could use the stretch between guides feature to protect those endpoints. All right, now if it doesn't really matter, just leave it at the default, stretch to fit stroke length, and then you get this result. But like I said, for a text or a font that I'm working on, I'm probably gonna need to retain those curves. All right, so I'm gonna hit cancel to get out of that. That's a pretty technical way to look at it, I guess. So I'm gonna switch over to this artboard that I have set up here. And now we're gonna look at this a little bit more artistically. So I have this flower set up already. I'm gonna select it and click and drag to drop it off over here in the brushes panel. And that's gonna allow me to create a new brush. 
Remember, we could find this feature under Art Brush. So I'm going to click on it to activate it, then click OK. Now let's name this guy Flower. And over here in the Brush Scale Options, I want to switch to Stretch Between Guides. When I click on it. I'm able to click and drag on the Start Guide and Release. And I'll grab the End Guide, bring it upwards. Now what I'm doing is protecting the flower, protecting the leaves. And what I'm going to be doing is stretching out this section of the stem. I'll click OK to accept that and get rid of this throwaway piece. Now back in the brushes panel, I want to make sure I have this guy activated. And I'm going to use my line segment tool again. All right, click and drag while holding down shift to create a straight segment and release. All right, so now I have this long segment here. And you notice it did not stretch out my flower. All it's doing is stretching out the stem. So let's come back to the brushes panel. Double click on the flower we just created and see the difference between stretch between guides and the default of stretch to fit stroke length. All right, I'm going to click on it and now it's actually stretching out the flower. So it might not give me the result that I want in this situation. So that's where the stretch between guides comes in to really help us out here. All right, so I'm going to click OK to accept that change, get rid of this guy. And remember, this also works with your pencil tool. So if I were to just draw something out with my pencil tool like this, and now I'm just drawing out the long stem and release. There you go. So I'm going to deselect this guy. Now you see that my flower is intact. It's just following along that curve that we set up, but it's not being skewed in any other way. It's just following that path. Then what's really being stretched out is my stem. And there you have it, folks. That's a quick look at the stretch between guides feature, which is part of your art brushes in Adobe Illustrator CC 2014.